hanging out with the dew. Somewhere in there between 15th and mine, and like I always say, who doesn't need a little love potion number nine? I got healing on my mind. Little Reiki, maybe. Leroy walks into a bar, finds the preacher there offering a prayer for anyone. Leroy gets in line, and the preacher asks, What can I do for you, Leroy? And he replies, Preacher man, I need you to pray for help with my wicked ways, and my hearing ain't too good. And the preacher puts one finger on Leroy's ear and prays with all his might, and finally the preacher asks, Leroy, how's your hearing now? And Leroy says, I don't know, Reverend. It ain't till next Wednesday. Well, as a Reiki master, I don't know how I ever became an Reiki master. It was through a series of friends and, yeah, who sponsored me into this kind of thing that, I don't know, it seems a little mystic and mysterious, and I don't know if I really believe or I don't believe, but I know that we're all connected somewhere, and I suppose if anybody wanted to cure any kind of negative toxic stuff or the evil eye or some hexes that might be upon, or choose a dose of positive receiving healing energy, I don't know, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Maybe we can transmute something here and put raw vessels through which the universal energy might flow. Wow, who wants negative energy when you can have positive energy? And everybody's talking about healing these days, but so few are willing to accept it in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> you know, we're all connected and in this Reiki electric, this magnetic positive flow. Symbolic melodies, let them flow. <coughs> Transparency of the beams, starlight and moonlight in between. Shimmering from our inner selves, levitating to the planets beyond through dark holes. Hear the whispering of angels' wings, stroking the rhythm, serene with every breath inhaled, as we dwell within our universal, sky-lit universe, no doubt. The healing heart and repairing the soul, releasing our anxieties and stripes so bold, penetrating our protective body armor. Relaxing in our balanced, energy-renewed lives. If you choose and want a little of this, maybe a moment of momentary brief silence might survive. I don't know what I'm doing, but I heard that healing kisses might work. Well, I'll tell you a story about a train compartment. There was a young couple and an elderly, ragged-looking old fool. And this young girl, she looked like she was in discomfort, and the boyfriend asked her, What's wrong, honey? And she replied, My head hurts. And her boyfriend kisses her on the forehead, you know. That usually works or survives. Is it better now? And she says yes. Then he asks, does it hurt somewhere else? Here, she replies, pointing to her lips, so the boyfriend kisses her lips. It's better now, much better. Anywhere else? And she replies, pointing to her neck, so the boyfriend kisses her neck. Well, this ragged old man sitting next to them, annoyed by this pitiful play of public display, the elderly man asks the young man, excuse me, young guy. Does that work for hemorrhoids? And that's the rest of the story. I suppose we'll all survive.